Welcome back to JNY Cards, where we are going to be enjoying this amazing hobby together. Today, we're going to be opening up 12 more packs of 2022 update series. We've got six packs with security tags and six packs without security tags. And we're going to see. We're going to see what the security tags have for us and what the packs without security tags have for us. All right. Just a little fun thing that I like to do every now and then. And uh, yeah, look at that. Look, there's a hanger box on the bottom. What? That's weird. <laughs> I did that to um, prop up the, the packs so that they would look nicer in the thumbnail and everything. Uh, all right, I'm back. Yeah, here we go. Six packs with security tags and six packs without security tags. Um, when I originally bought this whole box at Target, I think like only five out of the 24 packs had security packs. Uh, tags in them and so I have to go to a whole bunch of other stores and to try to find security tags or packs with security tags so that was that was kind of interesting but yeah all right so um I just wanted to let you guys know that I like to um, give stuff away to my subscribers and every 25 subscribers I get I like to do a little giveaway and so once I hit 525 subscribers I'm going to be giving away this blaster box of 2022 select baseball Pretty decent product, especially if you get it for free. <laughs> if you buy it, um, it's a horrible deal. Don't buy select baseball. But if you're a subscriber to my channel, you could win it. Once I hit 525 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away that blaster box. And to enter into these giveaways, all you have to do is be a public subscriber to my channel and you'll automatically be entered in to win that easy that simple you just got to click that little red subscribe button and that's it you'll be entered in all right so um i opened up 12 of these packs already and i did the same thing where i had six packs with security tags and six packs without security tags with that opening the packs without the security tags actually produced more hits all right i know earlier this year with 2022 bowman People were going crazy for those value packs, not the retail packs, but the value packs that are a little thicker. Um, those consistently, those that had security tags in them consistently produced more hits compared to the retail packs. Um, uh, in my experience, the retail packs, the, the retail packs for Bowman 22, it didn't matter if you had um, security tags in them or not. I felt like it was a pretty even spread of them, spread of hits. But with the value packs, I also agreed that with the 2022 Bowman uh, product, the value packs with the security tags produce more hits. Um, I didn't get an opportunity to do that with Series 1 or Series 2 retail packs, but I thought I'd do it with uh, update series uh, retail packs. So let's see. Let's see if these um, retail packs with security tags have better hits than without. Like I said, in my first video, the packs without the security tags, the ones I'm opening up right now, had the better hits. So let's see here. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll be right back. Oh, all right, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. My wife just left and she told me she had something in the oven and then the alarm went off and I had to go upstairs and make sure the house wasn't on fire. All right, don't worry, everything's good. Uh, the food looks great, the house is fine. Let's see what we got here in this first pack. Here we got Will Smith, Castellanos, Seiya Suzuki rookie card, very nice. Put him over here, uh, Nick Pavetta, Carlos Rendon, Dylan Tate, Sean Manea, uh, Ryland Banyan rookie card, Matt Duffy, Seth Brown, Brandon Marsh debut, uh, Ramon Urias, Austin Nola, Felix Batista rookie card, and we got a rainbow foil of Dylan Tate. Ooh, and a CJ Abrams, stars of the MLB. That's nice. We'll put, yeah, we'll put them right there. All right. All right, so, so far the packs without security tabs have given us a rainbow foil. And I consider a rainbow foil a hit. Let's, uh... See what the second pack has. Oh my gosh, this pack is all crazy. All right, we got Bo Brisky, rookie card, 
Brand, uh, Brad Boxberger, Jose Azucar rookie card, and Darrelton Simmons, uh, JP Sears rookie card, uh, Aledmus Diaz, Steve Ciszek, uh, Dustin May, uh, Sam Hilliard, uh, Andre Palante rookie card, Sonny Gray, Cooper Hummel rookie card, Seth Lugo, and it looks like we got a retail royal blue here. And let me see. Not a rookie, but it's of uh, Eric Fetty. Okay. And then we've got a Spencer Torkelson. That's pretty nice. An 87 redo of Spencer Torkelson and a Reed Detmers. Not too bad. So we got a royal blue. And a rainbow foil. So that's not too bad. I consider a royal blue a hit. Oh my gosh, just packs. These packs are just not opening easily. Okay, we got Luke Maley, JP Fryer, or Fair Reason, Alec Thomas debut. That's pretty nice. Uh, Taylor Hearn, Joe Perez rookie, uh, Marcus Stroman, uh, Jose Trevino, Mr. Gold Glover, uh, Cole Sands, oh, and a Spencer Torkelson debut, uh, Isaac Paredes. We got uh, Mikhail Franco, Tyler Anderson, and we've got Alex Degatti, and we got uh, out of 2022 gold of Mike Brousseau. Wow. All right. And then our last card is Mackenzie Gore. That's pretty decent. Wow. So, so far, these packs, the packs without retail, I mean, without the security tabs, I mean, that's pretty nice. A rainbow, a royal blue, and a gold. So that's good news. That's good news. It's good when the security, the, t the packs without security tags have hits because you know that people aren't searching for for them. All right, uh, we uh, aren't searching uh, for just the packs with the security tags. So we got William Woods rookie, uh, Chirios, Max Scherzer, Josh Donaldson, Albert Abreu, Philly Phenoms, Tyler Molly, Dakota Hudson. We got. The Rays rookie duel. This card's nice. MVP caliber. Uh, Ryan Pepiat debut. Say a Suzuki debut. Oops. I think I might have cheated there. Uh, Jake Walsh rookie card. And we got a Jonathan India. Chrome stars of the MLB. And then back here. What is this? Clayton Kershaw all star card. Okay, I thought. I was like, how come that card's not backwards? But okay. In the Hunter Green. Pretty nice. Clayton Kershaw. All right. Oops, I need to put the rookie cards over here. Two more packs. All right, let's see here. Okay, here we go. Eric Thames, Alec Thomas rookie card. That's good. Will Smith, Nick Castellano, say a Suzuki again. I like this. Andrew McCutcheon, Brian Lavastida, rookie card, Carlos Correa, uh, Gabriel Arias, Nelson Cruz, Craig Kimbrell, Nick Trompiano, Starling Marte. Ooh, we got another rainbow. Donovan Walton. All right. And Jonathan India, another Jonathan India. Cool. Wow. Two rainbows, a gold, and a royal blue out of these non security tags. Uh, Packs. That's pretty cool. All right, this is like a win win situation right here, right? Taylor Walls. It's a win win situation. Oops, sorry there. My wife is calling me. Give me one second here. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry, that was my wife calling me to make sure I took the food out of the oven. So, um, uh, Royce Lewis debut. That's nice. Nick Senzel. Albert Pujols and Jose Miranda debut. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, Alex Colome, Kyle Cody, 3,000 hits for Miggy, Nico Goodrum, Joe Ross, uh, Royals team card, Desert Kuloff, Ron Marinaccio rookie card, Tim LaCastro rookie card, and then what's this card? Josh Harrison, and Bobby Witt. Sweet, I'll take a Bobby Witt. All right, cool. So that not too bad, not too bad at all there. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just move everything down so that these cards don't get mixed up with the other ones. But I mean, these cards, 
these packs without um, security tags, man, they produced. They weren't too bad. I wish they were better cards, but I mean, two rainbows, a gold, and a royal blue. That's pretty good out of six packs. That is pretty, pretty good. Um, probably the other best card would be that Spencer Torkelson and a handful of rookies, but uh, let's put these down here for now. All right, so let's open up these six packs with security tabs. And let's see what they produce here. The cool thing about opening these up is that because of the security tag, it blocks that back card. So you don't actually see it. Uh, Luke Jackson, Yoshi Tsutsugo, Ryan Pepia debut, Jonathan Villar, Darren Ruff, Hunter Green debut, Taylor Naquin, Andrew Kins, and Mackenzie Gore debut. That's nice. Jan Gomes, uh, Camilo Duvall, Spencer Torkelson debut. I'll take that. Isaac Paredes, uh, Michael Franco, and we got Roy Campanella. Very nice. And our last card is Javier Baez. That's really interesting. You know what? I, I'm thinking... With my retail packs, I believe I, in my first video I made of these of update retail packs, I think the packs with the security strips, um, security tags, those had all of those diamond great die cuts in them too, which is interesting. I'm wondering if Panini's doing that on purpose. All right, Jesus Sanchez, Bryson Stott, rookie. I'll take that. Jake Odorizzi, Al 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 Alcala. Uh, Pineda, uh, Jose Cinero, Matt Stram, Daniel Vogelbach, uh, Francisco, Francisco Morales, John Gray, Bryce Elder, rookie, Adam Oravino, Richie Palacios, rookie, Chris Paddock, and Mackenzie Gore. Very nice. Generation now. That's pretty sweet. And we got a Seiya Suzuki. That's awesome. I'll take Seiya. Yeah, so I'm wondering if these retail, yeah, I'm kind of starting to see a pattern where you're getting more, like you get the Generation Nows and the Diamond die cuts with the security, with the with the packs that have security tabs on them. But yeah, let's see, Jack Sawinski, that's a good one. Uh, Michael Lorenzen, Eric Thames, Alec Thomas, rookie, that's nice. Will Smith, Mackenzie Gore, rookie, I'll take that. Luis Guillaume, uh, JJ Matevich, uh, Jose Iglesias, Ryan Doolittle, Chad Green, Aaron Bummer, the A's rookie combos, the Cubby rookie combos, and a Tariq Skubal. That's pretty nice. Followed by uh, Carlos Correa. Carlos Correa, stars of MLB. So, yeah, you know what? I'm thinking these packs that have the security tabs those have I think they have like a generation now and the diamond great die cuts but I could be wrong I could be wrong I gotta double check my first video a hunter green rookie that's pretty nice Caleb Theobar Simon Muziati Chris Archer Seth Brown Royce Lewis that's pretty good Freddie Freeman a new test for the West Bobby Witt debut I like that uh, Theard Estrada, um, rookie combos for the Tigers, again for the Padres, and ooh, that's pretty decent. Yeah, Carlos Correa, I'll take that. That one looks pretty good. All right. And then, yeah, another diamond great die cuts. Very interesting. Interesting. And then we got Aaron Judge, and we got a Vidal Brujan. Yeah, I'm hoping I hit more diamond um, great die cuts and more of the Generation Nows. Because I think that would just prove my, my theory here. Adam Heasley, Luis Torrens, CJ Abrams debut. I'll take that. Gutierrez, Voigt, Rich Hill, Jacques Peterson, Edward Cabrera debut. Cooper Hummel rookie, Seth Lugo, Brendan Donovan rookie. That's nice. Uh, Adam Engel, Eugenio Suarez, and we got another blue here of Sergio Alcantara and a Julio Rodriguez generation now. Oh man. Wow. And a Julio Urias, stars of MLB. Whew. That card's nice. These cards are so hard to grade. 
yeah, I don't know. I might send this one in just to try. There's just so many dark borders on these cards. That's beautiful. All right, so let's open up this last pack with the security tab and see what happens here. I'm hoping for another generation now or diamond great. Might have gotten a chrome. We'll see here. All right, uh, Ho Jose uh, Azokar rookie card and Daryl Simmons, JP Sears rookie, Jake Fraley, Brad Miller. Dancing in Detroit, Adam Savali, Harold Ramirez, Austin Meadows, Nelson Cruz, Craig Kimbrell, Nick Tropiano, Starling Marte, Aaron Judge, Black Gold, that's beautiful. In an all-star game of Ronald Acuna, that's pretty sweet too. What's he holding there, his phone? Ooh, that's nice. The Judge, that's sweet. And we got Andrew McCutcheon here. All right, cool. So, yeah, um, these security tag packs, I did get two blues. Right, yeah, I got two blues. I got a black gold. Just there for now. I got two stars of MLB and two diamond cut, diamond great di die cuts. So, I'm wondering, I gotta double check my first video um, and see what I pulled out of those packs with the security tabs as well and kind of draw some conclusions so i'll be right back i gotta do a little research i gotta look up some comps and then i'll come back with what i found all right all right cool so we're gonna kind of go over what i found uh my conclusions and then we're gonna do some comps all right so after opening up 24 retail packs 12 with security tags these and 12 without security tabs uh tabs tags i came to an interesting conclusion here right so out of the 12 packs without security tags i i opened up this right um a baby blue a short print two rainbows a royal blue a gold not too bad um with the packs with security tags i got some interesting stuff with, as well i actually opened up two black gold the other ones in my previous video i opened up four diamond great die cuts the other two are in my other video I opened up three generation now i got one in my previous video and i opened up two royal blues so i thought it was really interesting that the packs with security tags are where i was able to find black gold diamond great die cuts and uh, generation now inserts interesting right yeah I thought that was really interesting and so um, I think both packs are awesome if you are hunting gener uh, generation now diamond great die cuts and black gold inserts then please I think you're gonna have the best luck with these with these security tag packs now if you want short prints and parallels then buy the packs without the security tag right I thought that was really interesting I was quite fascinated by that um, I'm interested in buying 24 more and running this whole series of tests all over again just for fun but at the same time I kind of want other youtubers and uh, other individuals to try this out and see what they discover so really fascinating right really interesting right so me personally, I'm just going to buy the packs without um, security tags because I want more number parallels. I want more short prints. But I, I also understand there are people out there who are trying to collect black golds. So if I was collecting black golds, which I am, I'm just going to buy them off eBay. But if you want to rip them, then buy the packs with security tags. All right. So let's check out our comps here. Um, you know, I did I did pretty well. This Mike Brousseau, it's about two bucks. Um, and this, uh, Spencer Torkelson here is about two bucks. So, you know, not too bad, right? So I'll put these two up here. Um, and then see this, uh, J-Rod here. Uh, this guy was going for about four bucks. So not too bad. And this Aaron Judge, the black gold one is about 
two bucks, right? So not too bad. I mean, I'll take those odds any day. I'll take those, you know, it's not too bad at all. Um, and I had a whole bunch of cards. I had like $35, 35 cards is the Gore, the Korea. Um, let's see who else, the Suzuki, these guys, I'll just kind of quickly pan through, flip through these cards here. I've got about 35, what I call like bulk dollar or bulk, um, you know, one to two dollar cards, right? And they're just, you know, rookie cards, inserts, rookie debut cards of some more desirable players. You know, these, those 35 cards go anywhere from like 75 cents to like, some go up to, go up to like two bucks. So I'm just gonna round it up to 25 bucks. So, um, and also the only two gradable cards that I was able to, to kind of find were these two Seiya Suzuki's. Um, I think both of these are great, are uh, in great shape. They're um, they're probably, in my opinion, tens, and I can probably sell these cards for like twenty-five to like thirty dollars each um, at the peak of next year. You know, once, you know, I'm thinking Suzuki's probably gonna get like, I don't know, if he's healthy, he he should get like at least, I don't know, fifteen stolen bases and at least twenty home runs. And you know, at the peak of when he's really hot, I'll probably try to sell him off. And so I'm thinking anywhere from 25 to $30 each for, for those. And so that kind of brings my value to about $85 of, of uh, cards here. I got about $85 worth of stuff here. My cost is about 40 bucks. Um, I opened up 12 packs at 350 each. I got it from, I got these from Target, so there was a discount as well. And then you factor in fees, grading fees, shipping fees, um, eBay fees. That's about 43 bucks, and that gives me about a profit of about two bucks. So, I mean, I'll take a profit any day. I mean, there's always a chance that, say, a Suzuki, I don't know, might be like an MVP candidate, and his rookie card goes up to like 40 bucks, and that $2 profit could easily turn into, you know, a $42 profit. So, but you know, that's kind of what you gotta do with this hobby. You gotta nickel and dime yourself out of the hole that you've dug yourself into. And that's kind of the fun of it as well, because you never know, say a Suzuki might blow up and um, I've got two PSA 10 uh, base cards of him. So, all right, so hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun um, doing this little experiment. If you enjoyed it as well, please like, comment, subscribe. And all of you out there, um, please take care of yourself and I'll see you all in the next video.